Welcome back to Fatal Frame 2, guys. Let's continue, shall we? So, when we last left off, we were introduced into our um, current roles here. We are... Why is... Okay, I'm having some strange things going on with my controller. Apparently, only half the controller seems to be doing something. So, when we last left off, we uh, found ourselves at this creepy village after our sister decided to run off into the woods. And it appears that something really bad has happened here. A load of people were murdered on a night of a festival. And the city appears to be doing its absolute damnedest to claim our souls into the mix. Right, so we've got this door here that doesn't seem to be doing an awful lot of much. And I know somewhere there is a way of changing control schemes. Um, right. I want headphones. We also want options again, I guess. Control settings. Right, okay. So we can have 2D or 3D. Right, so 3D is essentially Resident Evil controls, I think. Yeah, kind of. Right, yeah, I know there's some weirdness up there, okay, that's fine, but that weirdness up there isn't really helping us at all at the moment. Don't know why the D-pad's not working. Pretty sure I was using the D-pad before. Ah, I think maybe we need to try and leave. Yeah, the door is held shut by some powerful force. That's the rub. Ah, that's that strange woman again. Could that... Vanishes at door. Right, here we go. Could that... Be the woman that was looking for the surveyor. A different place can be seen in the photo. Now that was the brazier overlooking the atrium. So let's go back there. Come on, sister. Let's get going. I know you've got a painful foot somehow because you slipped on a rock or something. But now's not really the time to be concerned with such things. I guess giving her a pot of herbal medicine is out of the question. Ooh. There's something going on. Because the filament is glowing. Something can be seen in the photo. Looks like an injured man. Yeah. It's like an injured man strangling somebody which is pretty awkward uh oh just who exactly are you well he's gone now and I don't think we got any points points uh, seem to operate in the same way they did in the original they're basically experience that we can use to power up our camera which uh, I like I like I love it when we get um, ability points that we can spend I really like that mechanic in my games all right I'm waiting but you really need to get a, a bit of a wiggle on. Surely the adrenaline of the situation should be uh, making you move a little bit quicker. It's open. Well, open doors are my favourite. So let's go inside and have a little poke around. Well... Some old bedding spread out in the... Oh, there's a lump, as if there's something inside. Yeah, and we can't search yet, sadly. 
Yeah, well, it would appear there's nothing we can do in here. Or is there? Out of the way, Mayu. Whatever your name is, Mayu. Nope. Not yet. <gasps> Alright, let's go have a little look. Now, the right stick allows you to change the torch like you could in the original. There's something shining. Ah, it's the ginger key. A crest with a ginger design. It's carved on the copper key. <gasps> And apparently we got nothing. Well, that was us. So, hang on. I'm going to reload it so I can get that uh, ghost. Because every little point counts. Right, let's try and get that one again, shall we? Shouldn't be too hard. Now, one thing that I do like is if we push the B button to bring up the camera... If there's any, like, weird funk going on, generally speaking, the camera automatically locks on and targets the ghost. Now, that's right. Now, I have noticed um, that that doesn't always work. Woman behind net. Yeah, so it doesn't always work. It's not a flawless process, but most of the time. Kind of looked like something was over here, but maybe not. Right. Oh, hello. And again. Stair climber. Now, what we should be doing really is probably using um, our unlimited film. Because uh, we only have so much of this stuff. The only trouble is, if we have to fall back and use the unlimited film, it's... Ah, oh, we missed that one. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that film is just useless. It takes a hell of a long time to kill anything. And I've got a cat up on my computer, which is never good. Ooh. Really have to be quite snappy with that camera to get some of these. So, nothing in these boxes apparently. Let's have a little look around. Always search for supplies because even if there's an old kimono on display, even if it's uh, not a big glowing orb, quite often there are items there to pick up. A page torn from a notebook is on the floor. I must be tired. If I start to relax, I pass out. Even in a crazy place like this, the darkness is here, creeping into my dreams. Slaughter, rivers of blood, fallen people, a woman in blood-stained kimono, insane laughter and twisted sisters calling out, don't kill me. Twisted sisters, huh? That woman's laugh is seared into my mind. I won't want to sleep anymore. Okay, so something seriously fucked up was happening. Again, didn't quite get it. Notebook 8, a red notebook. Uh, Masumi found my note. He was in the village. I can see him soon. I can't move. I'll wait here. He'll be back. He'll find the way out. If he comes back, he came. The last part of the memo stops abruptly. Yeah. She also became trapped here. She came into this house looking for her boyfriend. And then, where did she go? This place must be.
and we have our first boss, so to speak. I'm not sure if you could really call this a boss, but anyway, now it's best to use the filament that I found anyway to try and locate where the ghost is. Because we're only going to get one shot at the ghost before it decides to disappear. There she is. And funny enough, I never knew it could attack our sister. Never knew that. That's interesting. It'd be nice if we could just use it. Use our sister as bait. Ah, there she is again. Not really sure what's going on. There we go. Zero shot on a core shot. They're the most powerful shots we can get. Yeah, that's interesting. We can attack our sister. That's actually really cool. Right, where are you? There you are. Not a bad shot. Decent amount of damage. But notice every time we hit her, she disappears. Come on. Damn it. It's going to go for the sister again. Not on my watch. Oh, it looks like she's done for. That went pretty well. So it looks like her boyfriend killed her. So she finally finds her boyfriend after searching this madhouse for so long, and he kills her. I'm guessing he was already dead. He had become a ghost himself. There's something on the floor. Argonite. <laughs> and the cat is being bad again. Wasn't satisfied with jumping onto my computer, he's jumped on Gabby's. <laughs> Looks like a glowing blue crystal. That spirit must have dropped it. Once you find the spirit stone radio, you can use the radio on the main menu to listen to stones. So they're basically audio di dialogues. And we have spirit orbs as well. So spirit orbs, I'll explain those. Now, what do we have over here? Spirit stone radio. Spirit stone radio pointers. That's just explaining how the spirit stone radio works. Okay, cool. Right, now there's the folklorist notes. A book about the village was on the old bookshelf. The ceremony master, Mr. Kawa, or Kuru, was that? Kuru? We're just going to call him Kuru. Gave me a very warm welcome. The village has no chief. The ceremony master presides over the village. I wonder if this village was founded by people who wanted to preserve their sacred rituals and festivals. Most notable among all of God's folklore is the Gate to Hell legend that has been passed down for years. It is an archetypical tale of a gate or hole that marks the border to the world of the dead, also called Hades, the underworld or netherworld. It is for a forbidden place that is feared and hated, but it's also worshipped as well. The idea of hell has been a core belief of humans since ancient times. This village supports the theory that if the belief is universal, oh, that the belief is universal, the forbidden ritual regarding this gate to hell that takes place here is something no one is allowed to see or speak of. This strict taboo is probably the result of a ceremony concerning the border with hell coming closer to the living world. Villagers lead a simple life. Deep in the mountains, they struggle to forage for food for their daily meals. The village has little contact with the outside world. They continue to practice the ways of the old, frozen in time. Okay. Interesting. So we've woken up and our sister is nowhere to be found. There's not a lot of mention of that. Now let's have a little look. 
in our inventory. So we've got the radio and we've got the Argonite crystal. So basically, when you defeat a powerful presence, it will drop a crystal. And that crystal will uh, allow you to hear the last thoughts of the presence before it disappeared. So... So we've got one, two, three, four. So we're missing five and six. I'm pretty sure they're all here somewhere. They're all in this building. Ah. So there's a girl in hiding. Didn't appear to get anything for finding her, sadly. Okay, anyway, let's keep going. Oh, there's an old brazier. We don't care about the brazier. Ah, woman's notebook six. Perfect. A page torn from a notebook is on the table. How much time has passed since I came here? How long will this night last? I can't take the darkness. It's driving me crazy. I have to get out of here. I have to see Asumi. Well, fortunately, you did get to see him, but it wasn't really... didn't really have the uh, effect that you wanted. So we've got Type 61 film there, which is actually quite a powerful film. But we're going to hold on to that. <clears throat> Mayu! I'm sorry. I have to go. Uh -huh. And then our sister literally disappears. into the village beyond. She's being pulled away by the crimson butterflies. Which is really interesting because there weren't any crimson butterflies in the first game. Hmm. Okay. That's definitely concerning. Still, let's have a little look around. So we found some camera equipment and film. Acquired the slow power-up lens. So this is a power that we can use with our camera which will slow enemies down apparently I haven't really experimented with these effects so um, I can't really comment on those too much but this is nice you found some camera equipment and film acquired the measure equipped functions so this allows us to see the enemy health bar which is actually way more useful than you'd probably give it credit for so if we have a little look around we should now be able to find a few things Yeah, maybe there's nothing in here, but we're going to go back through this, make sure that we haven't lost anything or left anything behind. I know... Ooh. Ooh. I'm sh I knew we could take a photo of that. Frozen woman. There we go. Not sure if we get anything for those. I'm pretty sure we do get um, some kind of points for them. But like I say, oh, here we go. Target rich environment. You can just see how much damage we've done to these guys. 
So we now have the health up in the left corner. Now these guys aren't too much to write home about. Come on, big boy. Ooh, that was not actually a terrible shot, all things considered. Interesting that he's literally above us. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't really find these ghosts intimidating or anything like that. For a, a quote horror game, uh, I'm personally not finding an awful lot of horror here at all. But it's early days yet. Ooh, little shit got me. Look at the size of the guy, actually. That is pretty cool. Okay. There we go. As soon as it changes to red, we want to hit him. Now, like I say, we need to be somewhat careful with our decent form. Another shot should do him. Because, um... That is one of the biggest differences that I've personally found. We cannot just reload our Type 14 film. But, as I said previously, to back it up, to balance it out, I guess, we do have an unlimited quantity of um, cheap film. But like I said, <laughs> that film is actually worthless. It really doesn't do much. But I suppose it's pretty good for using uh, ooh. It's pretty good for using against Oh, Village Report. Now I didn't get this against um random encounters, I guess. Just like photos of opportunity. Village report one. Some notes are lying on the deck. Maybe they belong to the missing surveyor. For some reason, one of the statues in the uh, is in the form of twins. I've also found descriptions of a twin deity statue in the writings lying around the house. Ah, I looked down into the old well, but it was pitch black and I couldn't see a thing. If you listen closely, you can only hear the wind blowing, and it seems that the water has dried up. I can't tell. I found a small shrine at the top of a long flight of stairs, shrouded in mist. It seems very old, but is well made, and has not fallen into disrepair. The entrance has a large butterfly. I came to this hill to take a look at the gate I passed through when I entered the village. But when I tried to find it, hmm, they seem to be survey details of ver oh, survey details of various locations, but the entries were cut off. There must be something at these places he wrote about. That's really freaking cool. Because when I played this, I didn't come back here and I didn't find that. And there's something there. Really obviously there. Something really blurry. But apparently... Right there. guess it's nothing maybe maybe it's a glitch I don't know anyway let's get out of here that's really weird oh woman on deck hello Can we do anything with her I guess not. Strange. Alright, well, let's leave the woman on deck alone for now. After all, we don't want to be popping off too much film. 
Now we've got one more area where we can search. We can look. Uh, wait a minute. We already looked upstairs, didn't we? And we definitely looked in here. Again. But you never know. Something might be through here. Oh. The music's changed. Which makes me wonder if there's some weird voodoo going on. Doesn't appear to be anything in here. Apart from this broken down rail. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of interesting that I can't find that last notebook. We definitely still are missing one, aren't we? Yeah, woman's notebook. Yeah, we're missing five. Okay. Well, it is what it is. I'm guessing it's not in here. Now, we've already examined this place like 36 times. And unless there's something weird out here, apart from the woman on deck, that woman on deck actually has me fairly curious because she didn't show up in the filament and she didn't show up uh, when we took a photo of her. So, not really sure what that's all about. Some more medicine. Oh. Somebody seems to be climbing out. Although it doesn't appear that we can actually hurt her. This woman is a bit of a pain. Now we need to be very careful with her. Very careful. Right, let's give her some of that. It's a nice zero shot. I think every time we take a photo of her, she disappears. No, she doesn't. Okay. That's cool. We can handle that. Come on, you ugly old bitch. Couple more of those and you're done. Ooh. Yeah. She's got like a really messed up face. Which, you know, I imagine most of us are going to get when we end up stuffed in boxes. Oof. Ah, so she dropped a moonstone and a spirit orb. Interesting. Anything else here? I guess there's like no diary? Look like it. Nope. Right, well, let's drop down a save here. And with that, we're going to call it a video. And when we come back, we're going to get out of here. Because that is the first part of this game, basically, done and dusted. But I guess before we leave, let's. Listen to the moonstone. Well, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. The darkness is coming. Well, I mean, you know, it's fun for us because we get to shoot ghosts and uh, unravel some massive conspiracy investigation thing. But it wasn't much fun for her. 
So anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time. Thank you.